Hello friends, welcome to this session. Today I am going to uh, talk about how to become a serverless web developer, uh, what kind of skills are required for the SAM and uh, uh, where you can start your journey to become a serverless, AWS serverless uh, web uh, serverless developer. So when you want to become a AWS serverless uh, developer, uh, there are certain steps uh, you need to uh, take in terms of like learning the skill set and then where exactly you can start I am going to give a full tips about uh, Sam in this uh, video uh, see this full video you will get idea like where you can start journey what kind of steps skill sets you will require please like and subscribe my channel first for supporting me to encourage me to build a more and more content of uh, uh, relevant to the technical community to uh, share my knowledge uh, and thank you again for supporting me so let's uh, i talk about more uh, if you want to start your aws serverless uh, uh, developer journey then first you need to learn for certain skill set like first you need to start with learning uh, some programming languages like uh, you can either learn i would suggest you can go for learn uh, javascript uh, especially node.js and um, also you can learn python or uh, like node.js or a python that would be good start for uh, while when you want to make your uh, uh, like uh, career in aws serverless developer position so uh, be a stronger node.js or a python developer and then uh, once you have a strong command on that languages uh, um, so here is the like even official document for the same uh, this python uh, and this is a node.js so according to the your uh, convenience you can go ahead and start those uh, learning those node.js or python and uh, once you get a good strong command on node.js or a python uh, then you should have to learn uh, some uh, uh, like stuff in the aws so if you are a experienced guys in aws is it, it is easy to get, take a track in uh, these things but if you are a fresher or a beginner level don't worry you can uh, go ahead and start learning the aws cloud can sign up and um, create a your AWS console account and then start exploring right nothing is impossible once you start your journey uh, for learning something so you can start learning with some basic stuff in AWS and then you can explore like what kind of serverless services available in the AWS like there are 200 plus services in AWS right so uh, when we talking about AWS serverless developer then you need to focus on uh, serverless architecture patterns uh, on which you will build your project feature going so after learning the python or a node.js you need to start something with the AWS and relevant serverless pioneer services like API gateway, uh, lambda function and then DynamoDB so you are able to build your backend apis in that um, so that uh, while you are uh, building your front-end web application or a mobile application you will require uh, some backend apis right so whenever we talking about serverless application which means to that it is also kind of like other application uh, web application or a mobile application but there will be a like we are utilizing a serverless uh, services from the cloud aws so we don't need to worry about the scalability of the backend we don't need to worry about the uh, security and uh, uh, many other things like in terms of uh, agility of our project so our application will scale up um, and um, according to the need of our uh, business uh, or a uh, traffic on the application so uh, this is a really uh, good stuff so after you learn python or node.js you can uh, learn uh, some aws services like if you see here we have a uh, 
bunch of AWS serverless service services. Serverless is nothing but like um, there is a of course a, a server, but that will be completely managed by cloud provider uh, AWS, and you don't need to worry about like what exactly. Uh, you don't need to worry about like managing those servers right those will be behind the scenes managing by uh, cloud provider aws and uh, here are a lot of uh, services like pioneer services are aws lambda there will be api gateway dynamo db and uh, so this is the way we use case right like this is a api gateway a, and uh, like lambda function and dynamo db so by using that you are able to build your backend apis and then you can integrate those APIs into your front end, so that way you can build start building with some something basic, um, uh, like API development use case with API Gateway Lambda and DynamoDB. Then you can enhance your um, serverless application by using SQS and SNS and you know, some other stuff like Step Function and Event Bridge and S3 and there are a lot of stuffs now available as like Aurora serverless, Redshift serverless. There are a lot of use cases even you are able to build a data data project in um, by using this serverless or a web application or a batch processing uh, or a event ingestion. So many kind of different use cases according to your need. Uh, without worrying about the scalability uh, pay as you go model you are able to implement by using AWS serverless so you need to learn this kind of AWS services and uh, once you learn some basic services don't try to learn everything together start with something like API gateway lambda function and the DynamoDB then try to build some basic use case like your front-end application start using your APIs which you build in this backend while you are building your APIs like in normally when you are managing something there are you going into the AWS console and uh, you are creating a resources right but when we talking about serverless application development you need to also learn a uh, infrastructure as a code uh, languages okay or we can say framework so infrastructure as a uh, code uh, frameworks uh, you need to learn to provision your uh, application onto the aws cloud so that say for example you build your api by using api gateway lambda function and dynamodb then you need to provision uh, or uh, up those resources into the aws cloud without going into the console right so in that case you need to write some infrastructure as a code that code will deploy you or your resources into the AWS cloud. So, say for example, right, if you have a one or two a Lambda function or API gateway, then you can go into the console and create it directly, right? But when you have a big project and you have a like hundreds or thousands of Lambda function and API get, uh, gateways, then in that case, it is not easy to update and deploy those kind of resources easily, right? So in that case, you need to, of course, use this kind of infrastructure as a code uh, frameworks, which will allow you to write a code, uh, infrastructure code um, in terms of like uh, YML or in terms of like um, programming languages. Uh, and then you need to uh, you deploy by CLI, uh, framework CLI to the cloud provider um, resources. So these are like, Sarah, if you can, if you want to start uh, AWS serverless uh, infrastructure as a code, then you can start with either AWS SAM or so here we have this AWS SAM. So you can start with here in the in this you are able to create your serverless application through uh, like um, by using YML based code and you are able to deploy it. Same way there is a CDK, AWS CDK is official support like you are able to create your uh, code in your uh, choice of programming language there are many programming languages supported by AWS CDK so this is also one of the good uh, option to write your infrastructure as a code and here we also have a serverless framework this is also a good strong foundation in serverless framework there are a lot of plugins and many things so you are also able to create uh, your um, infrastructure as a pro project
um, uh, like you, you are also able to build your serverless application uh, um, uh, infrastructure as a code in serverless framework. So these three and are good options to um, learn and start. I learn any one like either serverless framework or CDK or a SAM, and you can start uh, like start with basic use case. You can define your uh, API gateway, then uh, Lambda function and DynamoDB, and try to build uh, deploy those resources and create some CRUD operation uh, APIs um, by using Node.js or a Python and then you build your uh, basic APIs and once you build your basic API and start using it on front end side and then try to scale your um, uses like you can start using SQS, you can start using SNS, you can start using step function and there are a lot of uh, services nowadays supporting serverless in AWS um, even there is a streaming services, there is a um, like storage services and uh, a many different use cases like there is a uh, uh, in normal scenario we need this API gateway, SQS, SES, uh, SNS step function and uh, this DynamoDB but in a data project also we have a server, lot of services in serverless support like uh, we have a Glue, Athena and um, many other services right so even we have a database site like Redshift support serverless now and uh, so there are a lot of scope in serverless development and this is a growing areas and like lot of things are coming up we even know like we started our journey with like we was hosting our site uh, site on cloud uh, different um, hosting providers like um, uh, GoDaddy or any other hosting provider and then we gradually move to the cloud then we learn AWS and then we start using EC2 instance, and we start using uh, containers and we customly start deploying services. Now new area coming up like serverless. Right? If, uh, we need to only worry about our business logic and this cloud will do for us, right? So it is kind of like pay as you go model uh, and, um, uh, and when you are working as a serverless developer, or when you want to become a serverless developer you also need to change some your mindset according to the business uh, like serverless uh, you need to be um, set your mindset in ser serverless pattern architecture way uh, so you need to think uh, architecture scalability in terms of like serverless um, services available into the AWS cloud uh, while you are designing your serverless architecture so those architecture patterns you also need to know learn well in when you go feature so you first learn like python or a node.js then you learn one infrastructure as a code like uh, sam or a cdk or a serverless framework um, then um, and then after like um, um, or like you can uh, go deeper into the each and every service serverless services like you can uh, what are the limitation what are the different features available and then you can start thinking about the serverless according to the, your business use case need you can st start thinking about the serverless architecture patterns it's like uh, in which particular case you need to use like uh, a lambda function api gateway or a dynamo db or any other uh, database and in which case you need to include the sqs in which case you need to uh, add ses in which uh, case you want to use a step function um, like there are also different other ways to create the APIs like a GraphQL API by using AppSync. Um, there are um, streaming kinesis. Uh, there are Glue Athena, as I mentioned. So there are many different use cases you are able to build. You are able to create a uh, like uh, now serverless. Uh, like 2014 Lambda was found at that time. A serverless framework was uh, I mean like serverless uh, development was started but nowadays uh, at that time like API lambda function using then we have application serverless but nowadays how we can use less lambda to um, make a more event driven application in the serverless area right so you can uh, start uh, learning basic um, like one language python or node or any other go or anything and then you can go for any infrastructure as a code tool uh, which I suggested and then you can start learning more and more about all the AWS serverless services and then gradually you will become an expert in this area okay so uh, thank you for watching this video um, explore more of these things and then start practically and uh, 
प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब गिव मी लाइक सजेशन इन कॉमेंट्स वॉट नेक्स्ट यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न थ्रू माई नॉलेज शेयरिंग आई विल क्रिएट ए वीडियो एंड शेयर विथ यू गाइज फॉर द सेम थैंक यू सो much for your time and thank you so much for supporting me don't forget to like and subscribe thank you